today I'm going to be making some space here on my shelving unit. I'm going to be storing the pancake mix, the grits, and the oats today. I may store some of the cereal, but uh, I'm going to store those in uh, five gallon buckets for long term storage. And I'm going to be uh, opening up some uh, shelving space for myself that I need. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack this away or store this away. And um, this should last 20, 30 years stored away. So guys, let me just show you what you need to do, okay? Okay, so we have here the buttermilk pancake mix members mark 10 pounds of uh, pancake mix that I really like the idea that all I need to do is add uh, water to it and for 10 pounds I paid five dollars and 98 cents five dollars and 98 cents for this huge bag let's turn it around and see if we use the entire uh, 10 pound bag of um, pancake mix we're making we can make between 200 and 230 four inch pancakes so that'll go a long ways guys a long long ways and you see here I could even leave it in this bag here for two years uh, but uh, I want to store it for even longer um, storing it in the in the um, Mylar bag will guarantee me, you know, 20, 30 years of uh, food storage. One thing I want to remind you of is uh, when you store your dry goods in uh, the storage in the Mylar bags, make sure you include, you know, this these cooking directions, okay? Make sure you include the cooking directions and your nutritional facts in there. So guys, you know me, I love using the Baileys. I feel like it helps keep like the uh, weevils and all of that away. I, I have 60 pounds, um, 10 pounds each. So I'm going to put 30 pounds in each five gallon container. You can see I had to pound it a bit um, to make sure that I get it down in the back. When you put the bag in there, make sure that you open up the bottom of it because you'll start pouring your pancake or flour or whatever it is in there and the bag is folded and you're not getting the full benefit of the bag at the bottom so you're filling up too much at the top. But um, I just made sure that my bag was opened up very thoroughly on the inside. I'm going to bring you over a little bit so you can see in here. Um, over in that one, uh, I've already got a few bay leaves in there. I'm going to put a couple of bay leaves in this one on top. I put some at the bottom. I put a few in the middle. So I guess you could say about every 10 pounds. I put a few bay leaves in there. Now, um, what we're going to do is, now we're going to prepare um, to fasten our Mylar bags and to make sure that we can keep the oxygen out of here because that's what, you know, ruins your, uh, your product, the oxygen getting in there. So, like I said, 
got it down as far as you possibly can. Now we're going to go about putting in our oxygen absorbers and we'll, we'll go from there. I'll show you uh, that process. Here I have my oxygen absorbers and each one of these are 2,000 cc. I got 50 of them and um, I will try to include where I purchased them on the internet actually paid uh, with taxes and all the shipping everything $41.72 for 50 so that's like 50 of these containers that I could store away <laughs> so I'm trying I'm looking forward you know uh, I, I got more than I actually need right now so uh, let me sh show you one thing about let me op let's open it up okay there's a tear here I could tear it um, so that I can seal it back up. Let me just cut it, make it easier for myself. I, I'm going to take a pack of these out. They're uh, probably in packages of 10. One thing that I wanted to make you aware of, uh, you see this pink dot here? That's an indication that your bags are pliable and that they're good, you know, they're good to go. However, make sure when you take them out of here that they are soft and you should be able to hear when you shake it, it should be nice and soft if it's hard the oxygen absorber is not working correctly what i found out doing my research is that even if there's one oxygen absorber in the bag that's working that pink dot will be there so just make sure that you check each one of them another thing that you want to make sure of uh, prior to opening you want to make sure that you've got your jar handy so that you can place your unused uh, oxygen absorbers in the jar to keep them fresh because I'm only going to do, uh, I'm not going to do 10 containers today. I'm going to do as many as I possibly can, but I doubt if it's going to be 10. So I want to make sure that I, uh, you know, maintain the integrity of these. Um, they're, you know, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. And so, uh, and, they, and it, it makes the difference of whether your food lasts for a year or six months to 20 to 30 years. It makes a difference. You know, you need to work as quickly as you possibly can. That doesn't mean you gotta, you know, be breakneck, breakneck speed, but um, you do want to work as quickly as you possibly can. I'm gonna try to leave this link for you guys. Uh, these are really nice absorbents. I want you to see how pliable this is, see? See, can you, can you hear that? You can actually hear it, okay? You can hear that, okay? So, now all we gotta do is just drop it in. So I put in here bay leaves to keep all the weasels and wibbles or whatever they call them, all those little tiny bugs away. I put that in there and, um, and then I got my oxygen absorber. So now, let me show you how you're going to seal this. There's a couple of ways you can use an ironing, a iron with a board, or you can use a curling iron. I said I got a lot going on out here today, but uh, you want to make sure that your inside of your bag is, you know, clean of all the flour and everything, so that you don't have to worry about it not sealing properly. Almost just like when you're canning, you know especially when you're working with flour. You want to just make sure everything is nice and clean. Um, and guys, I get a lot of my information from other YouTubers, you know? Um, I follow different YouTubers for different things. One of the YouTubers that I really like to follow and get a lot of information about uh, long-term storage is Alaska, Alaska Prepper. He's really amazing. And he is really down to earth and he shows you exactly what you need and, and you know, it's over and done with. So now to fasten this, I'm going to bring it down as much as I possibly can. Uh, let me, let me show you. You need to see that, not me. Okay. I'm bringing it down in the bag, in the bucket rather. Uh, getting as much air as I possibly can out of it, you know, from the beginning. 
and the oxygen absorber will take care of the rest of it for me in a matter of days. So, the other thing that I want to do before I forget is make sure um, I'm going to have this in here. I'm going to place this on top, and it is the nutritional facts, and it is also, you know, the, uh, the recipe um, for the pancakes. So, let's see. Let me show you how easy this is, guys. This is so, so easy. So I pressed it down to get as much of the air out as I can. Okay. And then I just take my curling iron, or straightening iron, okay. It's nice and hot. I got it on. And all I'm going to do, I think you can see it, yes, is I'm just going to go and seal it. And I'm sealing it close to the top so that if I have to go back in here, I can cut it from where I've sealed it, take out what I want, and I still have plenty, plenty more space to, you know, reseal this. I think I told you the rule of thumb for, I know it, it can be kind of confusing and the rule of thumb for uh, how many oxygen absorbers you need for like a five pound bucket. Uh, just remember that uh, you need 2,000 cc. So that's plenty in here. And uh, it's gonna do the job. I'm just gonna make sure that this is sealed all the way. And I'm just gonna let it rest a little while. And then I'll show you the lids that I have. Just take your time. Like I said, you could either iron it on. I have some videos where I showed you how you can iron it with an iron. Or you can just simply do this. And for me, this is much, much easier, okay? So we got that one done, and we're gonna put our nutritional facts on top of here. I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and air out, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one. So I'll do one more for you. This is the pancake mix, and it's 30 pounds. So if you buy the 10 pound bags, you know, just get three bags of them. And they were $5, and I think, what did I say, $5.98 a bag for every uh, five pounds. For every five pounds, $5.98. And that is not bad, guys. I was buying little by little at the store. And, you know, you can buy a box of Aunt Your Mama and spend, what, $3, $3.98 or... 298 or whatever and you just get a little box of it so I was like oh what am I doing you know uh, I want to have lots of pancakes because you can make all kinds of meals with pancakes with this pancake mix you can make all kinds of meals with it at least I will be able to if, if push come to shove and just having them as pancakes is all I need you know that's that's a lot right there and it's going to be very filling. So we got most of the air out of that. Now we got to do is go along here, guys. I'm trying to see if you can see. Let's see. Yes, let's go back a little bit more. Make sure you can see. And you just go with your straightening iron. Look how easy that is. Now I've made all that space on my shelf. I'll show you. Um, which I really needed more space and uh, I will put these in my storage area along with other five gallon buckets of rice and beans and sugar you know and I, I'll feel rest assured 
that I have food for my family, guys. You know, you can see what's happening. You can see what's happening. And you know how long I have been preparing. I have been preparing. And I feel now that I have comfortably for my family a year's supply. A year's supply. Especially if it came down to it, I know I have a year's supply that I will, you know, I can monitor. So, just make sure that we close this again. That's our pancakes. And I'm going to be doing today some oats. I have some oats in jars already, but I'm going to get my oats in my five gallon bucket and I'm going to do it the exact same way. Let's put our nutritional facts on top here. Okay. And I'm going to show you the lid that I'm going to be using. So guys, let me show you the, uh, the lid that I purchased for to, uh, to cover my five gallon buckets. Now you can use these lids, which are just regular lids. There's no gasket or anything in here. It's got the number two here. Remember when you're looking up plastic, uh, the plastic buckets, if you see the number two and HDPE, that lets you know that it is a food grade container. So look for the number two and you'll know that it's food grade. This I bought when I purchased the buckets where I got the buckets were $2.97 at Walmart. I had bought some before from Tractor Supply and I think I paid like $5.97 for those because I could never find them at Walmart. I like the gamma lids because you guys know that I do have issues with my hands. Using these, it makes it really easy. And it makes it really easy to get in and out of your bucket at will. Put this on, you get this on really nice and tight. And then you, you when you wanna open it, you can just go and look how it turns. These gamma lids are amazing. I'll try to leave you the link for this also. See? Now this part will still, this rim will still be on that bucket, but your whole lid has come off. See? The whole lid. And then to put it back on, you just, you know, put it back on there and, and start turning it the opposite direction. Gamma lids, it tells you, dry food storage, easy to open, airtight, and pest proof. And now, I am going to do some grits and I'm going to do some oats. And basically, I'm gonna do it the same way. You know, I did the rice like this. I did uh, bean. You cannot put oxygen absorbers in your salt and do not put oxygen absorbers in your sugar, okay? But for your other dry goods, you know, basically, you use your oxygen absorbers. You can put your bay leaves in there uh, if you have the gamma lids, use the gamma lids. If not, use whatever lid you have. It's sufficient. Uh, it's just easier for me, and it seems to hold it more secure um, with the gamma lids. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my oats and my um, and my grits and make some more room on my uh, storage unit over here. As you can see... Um, can you see the empty space right there? It's where I just took the, uh, right here. It's where I just took all of the pancake mix off. So now I'm going to actually do all my grits. Guys, it's easy. It looks intimidating, you know, if you don't really you've never done it before it looks really intimidating right guys yes it looks intimidating but once you get the hang of it it's very easy like riding a bicycle so I'm gonna do these grits and I'm gonna put about 30 pounds in each one and these are five pound bag I wanted to show you now I uh, 
I packaged this up in August, okay? This is the Angie Mama, and so uh, I'll be using these bags first. I have quite a few of these bags um, in smaller portions. So when I get ready for my pancakes, I'll come out here and I'll get the smaller bag and the, um, the five gallon uh, buckets are going to be for long-term storage. When I, uh, what I try to do is I try to break it down if possible into smaller portions and um, I'll show you, I just keep these in uh, some totes. So this is how it looks and you can see that the air is out of it and it's sealed up really nicely. So you can use these smaller ones and make a bunch of them or you can use the one big five gallon and I'll show you what that looks like, the whole five gallon Mylar bag at once. Um, if you want to go really long-term storage, this is more or less a little shorter term, you know. You can leave it long-term now because it's in the Mylar bags. But, um, hey, if you want to do bulk, this is the way to go with the big, um, you know, five-gallon. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my, um, my oats and my grits and get those out of the way and try to get some order around me. <laughs> Okay guys, I'll see you back here in a little bit. Okay guys, so I just kind of want to let you see what I got done today. This is a container, I think I've got like five uh, bags of oats in here. Um, this container is filled with um, more oats. This is the uh, full container of oats, the bulk one. Um, here we have some uh, grits. We have grits in here. I have uh, pancakes in this one. I haven't closed all of them all the way yet. I'm going to give them a uh, like overnight to kind of settle down. See, I'm going to give them overnight to kind of settle down a little bit and then I will close them. This is another container of uh, grits. So we have two grits and uh, two pancakes. So this is a pancake and I think this one is a pancake. No, that says oats, grits, pancake, and pancakes. So we have two pancakes, two grits, a lot of uh, five pound bags of uh, that I'm going to be putting in uh, be putting them in those containers up there. Uh, see I'm just gonna add them to the list in here. And I have a whole bag here full of them that I'm just going to let them sit overnight and settle in a little bit. And then I will transfer them to the tote. So that's my job for today, guys. I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm going to go in and uh, try to get this edited for you guys so that you can have it. Lickety split. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.